Hey everyone, Daniel here from Twin Bytes with another quick tutorial for you. This time on the Microsoft Document XPS Writer. I'm going to explain to you what this is, what it's used for, and how to install it if it's missing from your system. So if you ever look in the list of your uh, printers in your computer, you might find some that you don't recognize. One of them being the Microsoft XPS Document Writer. And a lot of people uh, ask about it nobody knows what this is no one really has any clue what some of the things are in here but i'm going to explain to you this microsoft xps document writer is really just a pdf writer it's microsoft's version of adobe uh, pdf so instead of turning a word document for example into a pdf using a pdf printer we're turning it into an XPS document using a Microsoft XPS re, uh, writer. So you would just print to that printer and it creates a XPS document. Such as this test that I did here, I had a test uh, page that I did. When you double click to open it, it opens up the XPS viewer and it shows your document in that view and it's a non-editable document which is perfect for sending to somebody and it'll show them that document exactly the way you intended it to look. Now if it's not installed in here there's a couple of ways of going about installing this. The first one is you can click on the start button and type in turn windows features on and off and go into that once this comes up, just scroll down a bit and you should see the Microsoft XPS document writer. So if that is not checked on, you would just click to put a check mark on it and hit OK. And then it's going to ask you to reboot the computer. And once it reboots, you'll be able to open those documents. Now, the other way is if you right click on the start menu and go to apps and features, and in here, you can go to optional features. And you can first check for XPS and you'll see the XPS viewer is already installed. Now, if you don't have it installed, then you can go up at the top here to add a feature. And you can scroll down or just type in XPS and you'll find it. But of course, I don't have it in here because it's already installed. And you would just click on the uh, check mark beside it and hit install. And it will install that and then you'll be able to read your XPS file. So that's it for this quick tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And you can comment below with any questions you have or other videos that you'd like to see. All right, thanks so much guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.